Statins are a group of medications that reduce cholesterol levels. They were discovered by Akira Indu in 1971, a Japanese biochemist. There are several statins in the market currently, which are very easy to remember, because they all end with the suffix statin. Cholesterol is produced by the liver and transported by lipoproteins which consists of two types low-density lipoprotein which is known as bad cholesterol its main function is to transport cholesterol throughout the body the other type is high-density lipoprotein also known as a good cholesterol this type of lipoprotein removes the excess cholesterol and carries it back to the liver for degradation. So how does it work? Statins work by competitively inhibiting HMG coenzyme A reductase. This enzyme catalyzes the reduction of HMG coenzyme to mevalonate, which is the rate limiting step in hepatic cholesterol biosynthesis. Inhibition of this enzyme decreases the cholesterol synthesis, leading to an upregulation in LDL receptors in the liver. This increases LDL uptake by hepatocytes, decreasing the amount of LDL cholesterol in the blood. Who should statins be given to? According to the American College of Cardiology, Statins are given as a prevention of cardiovascular diseases. In patients with LDL cholesterol, more than 190 mg per deciliter. On average, statins can lower blood LDL by 70 mg per deciliter, which translates into an estimated 60% decrease in the number of cardiac events like heart attacks or sudden cardiac deaths. Contraindications of statins Being drugs that are metabolized and excreted by the liver, statins are contraindicated in cases of chronic liver disease or elevated serum transaminases. Statins are also not given in pregnancy or lactation as they are in category X. Lifestyle modifications are strongly advised in patients on statins. These modifications include less caloric intake, low animal fat diet, and physical exercises. Monitoring creatine kinase is important in patients taking statins, as myopathy is one of the most common and dangerous adverse effects of this class of medications. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you liked the video, make sure to like it, subscribe, and tell me your suggestions for any future videos. And see you next time.